Welcome to this Inkscape tutorial on image effects. If you want to import a photo into Inkscape, you can go up to File and hit Import. You can also just click and drag it into the workspace. Now I will point out that BMP file types are the best type of image formats to use when you're using these image effects. I find them easier to use than rather than using like PNG or JPEG images. So again, try to use BMP if you can for the format. I'm going to be using one photo to show you this. It's a street level view and it's usually a pretty good type of photo to test out the various effects. Now to get to image effects you go up to filters and you go to image effects and you can see there's about 15 of these here. Now edge detect, horizontal edge detect, and vertical edge detect are very similar. So I will show you those at the end of this presentation. So first let's select age and you can see it makes it look like a kind of like a 1920s photo, an old photo. So if you have a photo that you want to make it look like some Wild West photo, you can go ahead and use the age filter. So let's right click and undo that. Blueprint, it makes it look like it's a blueprint and that's kind of a cool effect as well. And then you can also make it look like a drawing. And you can see here that didn't work quite as well as the blueprint did. So again, the success of these depends on the photo that you're using. Some photos will look particularly better than other photos, but generic street level view photos are usually pretty good to test these options out. Film grain is probably one of the most popular film effects and it gives your image kind of a retro look. The liquid drawing effect is pretty neat too. You can kind of make it look like it's from behind a pane of glass if you want. And uh, so that's kind of neat as well. Now let's take a look at the oil painting effect. And you'll see here it didn't really do much. And I'm kind of glad that happened because I want to make another point. If you go back you can actually run it again and it'll distort it even more. And if we do it another time, it'll distort it even again. So you can see it starts to look more like an oil painting. So the point here is if the effect doesn't really take effect, you can keep applying it over and over again to distort it more to get the desired effect that you want. And you see we have to undo this three times to get back to where we were. All right, let's check out old postcard. And as you can see, that didn't do a lot. So let's go ahead and run it again. It's starting to make it look more like some sort of po postcard, but as you can see, some of these don't quite have the desired effect that you want. And there, you can see, so it's starting to make it look like kind of like a postcard effect, so let's undo that. Pencil drawing is usually pretty cool, and that usually works pretty good. As you can see, it looks like a pencil drawing now, and that actually came out really well in my opinion. I don't use sharpen too much, so as you can see, that didn't do a whole lot. I usually don't use that one a lot. Sharpen more is kind of the same thing. Soft focus lens is really cool. Now, you can do this to particular areas if you want, if you want to blur your photograph and make it look like you use a soft focus lens. And let's go ahead and apply that one more time, and you even get more of a blur effect. So that's useful. Okay, so let's go ahead and reduce this to about here. Actually, let's right about there. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this, and we'll move it here. And I'm going to show you now these different image effects. Edge effect, and now let's go ahead and do a horizontal edge effect and as you can see these are very close this one obviously has more detail because this is just rendering the image horizontally so you can see this first one's the one I actually like to use a little bit more let's undo that actually let's undo this one too let's go back and redo the oops and let's actually go back and apply the horizontal edge effect and over here we'll do the vertical edge effect so you can see the difference now you can see how this one renders it vertically and this one is doing it horizontally. So this wire here we see in this one, but here we don't even see it. So that's how those work. And that wraps it up for this tutorial. Please check out the rest of my Inkscape tutorials.